question is now, which is it? Which is it, unity or diversity of opinion? And the answer is generally diversity of opinion. It expands our horizons as ideas are tested, as tried in the crucible of country variety of country opinions. But, as our Ben Yoda said, it must be L'Shem Shemayim. Yes, Machlokas, yes, controversy, but not for ulterior motives, only for the sake that you live in a special Jewish community. I, I assume you do, but for those of us who have been involved in, uh, in the Jewish communal world uh, for many years, uh, Boston has always been a community that we always look to analyze and emulate in so many ways, uh, but mostly because you could be giving this talk tonight. There is no community in North America that has worked more, thought more, and struggled in joyous ways more um, with defining community and finding... Synagogues. During particularly the worst years of the polarization that all but tore our people apart in America in the 1980s and the 1990s, the Massachusetts Council of Synagogues was for me a beacon of light, and the unity mission was a very special moment in my year because what the council represented was not to give in, not to give in to historical forces, the forces, very powerful forces of polarization and separation and mutual rejection. I asked one of the students in words that I really have not forgotten, why is it you came on this trip? Um, and this student, who was a student at Chovave Torah, modern Orthodox yeshiva, said to me, uh, well, I came on this trip because I need to know what the midot are, what the qualities are that I need to la'amod lifnei kadosh baruch hu. I need to know the qualities that I need to possess in order to stand before God. Um, I think that's a question that confronts all of us. So that as I conclude my remarks tonight, I would say to you that whatever the differences are that distinguish us in regard to ideology, and I would never want to downplay them, whatever the distinctions are that then emerge in regard to positions, in regard to gays and lesbians, in regard to the place of women in our religious tradition. These are all very real distinctions. Nevertheless, what I think does unite us is a common set of sociological challenges and conditions, and that what does unite us is that all of us, from a religious perspective, have to all attempt to answer this question of what does it mean what are the qualities that are required to stand before God? Part of this program of the Synagogue Council of Massachusetts, because I am so pleased that the greater Boston Jewish community has a Synagogue Council of Massachusetts, uniting conservative, orthodox, and reform synagogues and synagogue leaders. Not every city has one. Very few cities have one, because not every city has the kind of Jewish leadership to get over the institutional pettiness that keeps it from happening in so many other places. We have it, and we have every reason to be proud of it. It's a tremendous honor for me to be able to participate here to honor your mother, your sister, Connie Birnbaum. And what's striking to me, it's not infrequent in my life that I am speaking at an endowed memorial lecture. What is uncommon is that the life of the person who's being memorialized was so tied in with the themes of the evening and with the theme of the organization for which she worked because clearly this broad-based love was such a part of, of Connie Birnbaum and the whole idea of tolerance and acceptance and the right of others to think differently exactly is what epitomizes the organization. We are family. 
And that legacy of what it means to be mishpacha, whether or not we've been related for a thousand years or we've never been related, that's Connie's legacy. Her legacy is that every Jew is my sister, every Jew is my brother. That we're one people. We're one Am. The word Am, Am Yisrael. Locus of Jewish of Jewish eternity. It has been and remains the most successful institution for the mass transmittal of Jewish identity that we have ever known. Quantitatively, it remains so even today, as the single most important way Jews connect to Judaism. The synagogue is the primary hub of Jewish experience where everything in Jewish life intersects. It is very important that today, when we are not isolated from one another, when there is no iron curtain, when there is no KGB, that we will keep this unique feeling of unity, that we are one, that we can have thousands of different organizations which don't talk to one another. But, but then, we are one. We are one in our history. We are one in our faith. We are one in our role of Tikkun Olam. We are one in our support of Israel. Thank you.